Welcome back to part seven of Eternal Thread. And we are back here. We're about to head to Neil's room, but first gonna actually look at the hex. See what happens based on this timeline. See look at the updated bios. Hmm. I mean, she may be having this timeline, but still doesn't look good. And Tom. Okay. Raquel, status alive. Day eight, Wednesday, oh one fifty four. Location, backyard. I need to get back in there. I need to fix. I need to you fix it. You can't go back in, of course. Look, you can't go back just, in. Oh, everything you don't understand. I need to. You, I need just, to, you need to take. I have to go back a in. Breath. No, you can't go back in. Uh, everything is. Oh, if you go back shit. in, you die. Just take a deep breath, okay? <coughs> Tom, status, alive. Day 8, Wednesday. I need, to get, I need to get back in there. I need to fix it. You can't go back in, of course you can't go back okay. in. Everything you don't. Alright, we started to update it. Let's go to Neil's room. Day 7, Tuesday, 2138. Location. Neil's room. Looks like one of the drone lights has gone down, 43. Senses are telling me it's in the basement. Might want to see if you can get it working again, okay? Okay. The student union is so fucking shit. It's like school disco plus. That is the charm, man. It's like proper drinking, but with training wheels. And anyway, Tuesday night is promo night. Oh, what's on? Vodka. And the ladies love the vodka. Oh, all right then. But if it's really shit, then we're moving on. That's all I'm asking, man. Dip your toe in and see how the water is. Okay. Oh, wallet. Keys. Phone. Toes. Let's go. After you, comrade. Oh, wait a minute. Is this just an excuse so you can try and chat up women with a silly Russian accent? Of course it is. I got a wicked Russian accent, me. It's right up there with Sean Connery. Oh, God. Now I really need a drink. Ooh, the scope. So we had to fix something in the basement. Good now. Ah, uh, yes. Standard repair technique number four. Nicely done. Okay. Day seven, Tuesday, twenty two oh seven. 
location, then in Jenny's room. Oh, bathroom's all yours. Jen? Earth to Jen. Come in, oh, Jen. sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? Bathroom's free. Grab it while you can. Right. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Nope. Something on your mind? Pills that way. Yeah. I think... I think my pills have stopped working. Oh. Right, that's possible, I suppose. You've got massively increased levels of hormones running through you. How are you feeling? Good. Great, in fact. Yeah. That'll be the hormones as well. We'll get some alternative medication. Th that's the thing. I don't want it. I think that's a bad idea. Why? I've been on these bloody things since I was nine years old. What if I really don't need them? Well, I've talked to your dad, remember? Everything he described sounds like early onset schizophrenia. Oh, I was grieving for my mum, for Christ's sake. Oh, look, a little girl in pain making a lot of noise. Give her some pills to shut her up. I don't think it was like that. Oh, look. really? Were you there? I'm not saying I want to stop for no reason, and I'm not doing it on my own. I've got you, I've got Raquel. She said some of the symptoms I've been having sound like synesthesia. That's unlikely and extremely rare, and Raquel is hardly a medical professional. Oh, fuck I'm you. I'm just saying, let's be on the safe side. We'll get you back on some new medication, and then once that's settled, we could try slowly lowering the dose and see what happens. You're fucking kidding, right? I'm not on anything right now, and you want to drug me back up to my eyeballs? Fuck off! Jen! No! Fuck off! I don't even want to look at you right now! Jen! Get out! Final confession. Day 7, Tuesday, 22.30, location, living room. Uh, uh, Jenny? Oh, it's the IAD thing. Uh, it, uh, Jenny, it's your dad. Uh, yeah, I, I got your text. And of course you can stay, you don't need to ask. Your room will always be here for you. Is uh, Ben coming too? Sorry, sorry, I'll, 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 I'll stop fishing, shall I? Uh, he's not done something stupid, has he? Oh, Danny asked if you can bring Raquel along with you. <laughs> uh, I mean, if she is coming along with you, that's fine. She's always welcome. And I'll try and keep Danny out of her hair. Uh... Anyway, love, just uh, just let us know when you're almost here and I'll put Kettle on. All right, love. Bye, pet. Bye, pet. I love you. Looks like there were new things in here. Alright, let's go. Oops. Let's go to the living room. People sure allowed to drink. <sighs> Fuck it. at the moment saving lives or cleaning bedpans one or the other <laughs> 
I told your father what you said, and he wasn't best pleased. I think he had this dream of forming a dynasty of doctors, and he was handing the keys to the kingdom over to you. So I reminded him about those two years that he spent in Ethiopia, and I suggested that, like father, like son, you might also want to do something with your life before you settle down into a quiet little country practice. He grumbled a bit, mostly about how he'll never get his handicap down, but he understands in his own grumbly way. And anyway, while it would have been lovely to see you every day and work alongside you, saying yes would have been too easy and you've never taken the easy route. So you get out there and do something magnificent. I'm proud of you, and I love you. See you soon, love. Bye. Okay. Back to the room. Day seven. Tuesday, 22.32. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Happen if she kept it. Day seven, Tuesday, twenty two fifteen. Loki sleeping tablets. Yeah, can't seem to get a full night's sleep at the moment. Something on your mind? No. Nothing more than usual. Come to bed, love. Yeah. I'll just go clean my teeth. And I'll be there. Clean the teeth. Pillows and pillows. Wednesday, 0108. Location, Hall. Well, well that was a good night. The lion? <laughs> Bunch of pussies, more like. Ah! Oh, fuck. That'll hurt tomorrow. Day eight, Wednesday, O one thirty seven. Location Backyard. You know, I bet they're at it all the time. What? I mean, no jobs. 60 years of pent-up sexual tension, and my God, if you watch daytime telly these days, what else they got? Jigsaws and knitting. Can we not talk about this? And your mum was definitely giving Donny the I'm eye. Not listening. Wait, which one was Donny? Who tie? With the stick? That dirty old man. If he lays a finger on my mother. No, oh, it's been more than a finger. Duh. <laughs> Asa Tom, Donny's gonna be your new daddy. Damn you, Donny. <laughs> Thanks for tonight. 
It's been really fun. My pleasure. Oh, I knew what was going to happen. Hey, yeah. it's all gone dark. What does that mean? It means I need to change the bulb in the kitchen. No, wait, it's the whole house. The electric must have tripped. Oh, that's sorry. I'll go fix it in a bit. Oh, so you're staying out here then? Yeah. Good. Any plans? I don't know. You got any ideas? One or two, yeah. There you go. There you go. It's the yardage. Having returned from seeing Tom's mother, Raquel and Tom sat talking in the backyard. Then, not realizing that the lights going out were because the fire had started, the two of them kissed. Mm -mm -mm. Day 8, Wednesday, 0138. Location, Linda's room. What if she noticed? Hmm, that looks all right. Two bedrooms, okay area. Oh, did the bowl just go out? Looks like the power's gone off. And the Wi-Fi. Ah oh, well. Oh, and it is then. Yep. That's better. Mm -hmm. Good dog. So I gotta change some stuff. Day 8, Wednesday, 0144. Location, to the end. landing. Drank himself. <coughs> He's too drunk to react. Wednesday, 0151. Location, Neil's room.
up for the final count. Smoke inhalation. Day eight. Day eight, Wednesday. 01:52. Location: Ben and Jenny's room. We gotta change some stuff here. What happened here? Day eight, Wednesday, O one forty seven. Location Ben and Jenny's room. Him there. What's going on? <coughs> Smoke. <coughs> ben. <coughs> ben, wake up. <coughs> There's a fire. <coughs> ben, get up. You've got to. Ben, get. <coughs> ben, you've got to get up. Come on, Ben. Get up. <coughs> get up. Look, we got her alive. to die. shopping yeah i woke up early and i guess the old caveman instincts kicked in oh, so a hunting mammoth for breakfast then <laughs> nah they were all out Trendy. scrambled eggs oh yeah that's a bit the disappointing you may be but the jenny's favorite so this job then yeah have you told her yet yeah oh how'd that go down not great you figured out what you want to do? No. Well, maybe. I, I don't know. Look, I, I just want to make Jenny some breakfast in bed. Something simple, something easy, something normal. Yeah. yeah okay. Sorry, mate. I'll, I'll get out of here.
Ooh. They got him alive. Let's see what happens. Day 8, Wednesday, 0147. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Nice. Nice. Really, just nice. Oh, come on. I do maths, not English. I ran out of compliments some time ago. <laughs> Fair enough. Any more, and I'll only be able to speak in grunts. Uh, <laughs> you'll be my lovely little cave woman. Oi, watch it. Oh, sorry. Mm, doesn't sound like it. No, really. How can I make it up to you? Hmm. Well, if you're up for it. Once more into the breach. Once more? We're not dead yet, are we? <laughs> Could be by the time we finish. Mm, I'll risk it. Me too. Wait, can you smell something burning? <laughs> well, I think I've got some friction burns. No, seriously. There's something, yeah. Come on, get up. What? There's smoke coming under the door. What? I think there's a fire. We gotta go, now. Post interrupt us. What about Neo? Everybody is alive. Hey, Neil's the only one that has a skull. Day two, Thursday, 19.30. Location, living room. <sighs> That's not what happens. Hey, relaxing evening in front of the telly, remember? Trying, but your medical drama is butchering my profession. Shh, or you're going to be a medical drama. Hey, oh, what are you watching? The Butchery Channel. Oh, Doc, there was some mail for you in that pile. Some sticker thing on a... Open this now to claim your prize. And yours have got stuck to it. So, uh, well, anyway, I've, uh, I've left it on the side. He'll get it later. Sorry, what? Apparently, I'll get it later. Go. Save yourself. Ah. Uh, I think I, I need to ch check on my dinner. Hmm. See ya. Day four, Saturday, 1400. Location, Raquel's room. Hi, can I come in? Sure. Look serious. Yeah. Look, a pregnancy test. Uh-huh. I know it's Jenny's. And, and I want to say, what you did, that was, that was really... Yeah, you, you're a good friend. OK, um, I'm going to go now. What are you going to do? Do? I'm, I'm not going to do anything. That's between Jenny and the dot. 
My lips are sealed. Probably a good idea. Let the two of them sort it out for themselves. Are you trying to convince yourself? <laughs> Neil. You know, you're not such a bad friend yourself. Thanks. Jenny, status, alive. Day 8, Wednesday, 0154. Location, backyard. <laughs> on, let's, get, let's get back in there. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's No, you can't go back in. I can't believe you go it. Back in, Shit. Die. No. Just take a deep breath. <laughs> Day three, Friday, oh seven forty five. Location, kitchen. to you? Oh, hi, Doc. Nothing much. Got into a bit of a fight last night, like. What do you mean, a bit of a fight? Well, me and Ian were out drinking down the line. So Nobhead said some stuff to Ian and I said some stuff back and it just all went a bit downhill. Here we go. This isn't the first time, is it? What do you mean? I mean, getting into fights seems to be a bit of a habit. I'm not letting Ian get picked on by dickheads. No, but you could hang out in different pubs. Yeah, but then the dickheads win, Doc. Yeah, and you don't end up hobbling around the kitchen. That's a small price to pay for a friend. Yeah, go on. Very nice. Day four, Saturday, ten forty six. Location, living room. Look at him, he's standing on the wrong bloody side. He's so crap. Morrison's much better. Give the lad a chance. He's got potential. We don't need potential. They're all over us. Look, he's out of position again. He's all we've got. Morrison's injured, isn't he? <sighs> then why don't we buy someone in the summer? Make a bloody tackle. <sighs> that was close. We're going to get battered. <sighs> Tom. Yeah? We really need to fit another toilet in this place, mate. What? You need to fit another toilet. Install. Go on, go and shoot. Ah, uh, why didn't he pass it to Richards? What do you mean install? Well, there's no plumbing in place, so technically, just pass the ball. It's called an install. Oh. Yeah, we'll fit, install that, whatever. We, yeah, we need another one. Yeah, I know. The party. I must have been waiting twenty minutes last night. Are we? Are we playing this shit on purpose? <laughs> it's not just the party. 
Getting out of here in the morning is almost impossible. I had to be in the garden this week because Jenny was throwing up. Come on. What? Is she okay? Look, we've lost it again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. Raquel Come said on. she had a bit too much wine Have the it. night before. Oh. Right. Putting in another bathroom is a big job. Two, three weeks. Oh, come on, ref, that's a foul. And anyway, it's, it's money, really, which I don't have a lot of at the moment. What? What did you spend all the rent on? My mum's nursing fees, mostly. Oh. Yeah, right. Come on. Sorry, I forgot. There you go. Look, I hear what you're saying. Get inside, inside. That's it. I'll price some stuff up and... Can I just enjoy the footy first? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm, um... I, I'm, I'm gonna see what Kiri's up to. Go on, then! Yeah, okay. Take the shot. I'll catch you later. Go on. Day four, Saturday, 1400. Location, Raquel's room. Hi, can I come in? Sure. Look serious. Yeah, look, the pregnancy test? Uh-huh. I know it's Jenny's. And I want to say, what you did, that was... You're a good friend. Well, there's a bit of a problem. What do you mean? Well, you remember when Jenny was thrown up? Yeah. Well, I, I may have mentioned it to Tom when I suggested he needed to fit another toilet. Oh. And he was with Doc at the time. Shit! It, it was before I figured it out. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. It's okay. All you did was rip the bandage off. They need to sort this out themselves. Sorry. Don't worry about it. It's a shame, though. What do you mean? Well, I thought it was an Oscar winning performance. Turns out it didn't fool anyone. Day 5, Sunday, 14.45, location, Hall. What happened to you? I got bloody mugged, didn't I? What? Why do you want a bike? What happened? Well, there are a few of them. One ran out and just made me swerve, and the rest of them just piled in. They got me over and then legged it with the bike. Jesus. Who were they? Just a bunch of knobheads. Me and Ian had a running with them on a night out. Must have recognised me on the bike. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Except now I've got to tell the doc his bike's been nicked. Oh, man. First time out on it as well. And I was just beginning to enjoy myself. Shit. Day 5, Sunday, 17.30. Location, dining room. Hi, Doc. Hi, Neil. How's it going? Not good, mate. Why? What's wrong? I'm... I'm really sorry, but, um... I, I lost your bike. What happened? 
those guys from down the line, they, they jumped me, knocked me off the bike and nicked it. I, I couldn't stop them. I'm, I'm so sorry. Look at the bike. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Then that's all that matters. Well, you're not mad. At them, maybe a little. At you, not at all, mate. Well. You know, up until the point where, you know, they jumped you, how was it? It, it was good. Yeah, 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 it was, it, was, it was really good. Good. Well, I'm not sure about another bike with your fan club still out there. But what about going to a gym? Uh, yeah, there's one at the sports hall. I could go off for lectures. And I think maybe stop drinking down the line? Yeah, I think you're right on that one. Crappy beer, anyway. Day five, Sunday, twenty two thirty. Location, then in Jenny's room. He managed to change over the IV, but somehow he got caught in all the cables, and instead of untangling them, he just gave them a tug. Now, that freed the IV, but also pulled out the heart monitor, so now he's got that sound, that beep, and he just panics. He turns and tries to head for the button to summon the crash team, but his shoes are all wet from the IV fluid. So he only gets a few steps, and then his feet go out from under him. Those few steps, though, give him just enough momentum to make him crash into the trolley, which then knocks over the water, which then pours all over him. <laughs> Seconds later, and I'm at the door with two nurses, and it's, it's like a car accident. I get one of them to, you know, check the student and quickly head over to the old lady, expecting to have to do some CPR. Only, I find her giggling away to herself. I ask her if she's okay, and she says, well, yeah, it was just like watching Daffy Duck. Jen, are you still there, Jen? Yeah, sorry. Can, can you come sit here for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm just gonna come out with it. I'm pregnant. What? Yeah. So, that's why you weren't drinking at the party? <laughs> the two things could be related, yeah. How, how long have you known? Only a few days. Still hasn't really sunk in. What do you want to do? I don't know. Hey, Jen, I'm here for you. This is your decision, but whatever you choose, I'm with you. Really? You'd want a kid? Yeah, I want kids. <laughs> now? It's not perfect timing, I'll give you that, but, you know, when, when is? We're both almost qualified, and, and we probably have to live somewhere different. Somewhere, you know, bigger, with a garden, and, and we'd, we'd have to get a car. And look, one day we could even get a dog. Day 5, Sunday, 0900, location, kitchen. Morning. Morning. 
Been shopping? Yeah. I woke up early and I guess the old caveman instincts kicked in. Oh, so a hunting mammoth for breakfast then? <laughs> nah. They were all out. Scrambled eggs. Oh. That's a bit disappointed. For you, maybe, but the Jenny's favorite. Mm. So, this job then? Yeah. Have you told her yet? No. Are you gonna? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what would you do? What? You want my advice? First time for everything, right? <laughs> well, I think, I think you need to decide what you're going to do first before you mention anything. Okay, and what would you do about the job? Look, mate, the job's a great thing to run away to if your life's a mess, but for you, it's a great big stick of dynamite that'll blow up your life and God knows where the pieces will end up. So, don't light the dynamite unless I'm sure? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Day four, Saturday, 22.35. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. So I was talking to Neil earlier, and he said that you were throwing up a few days ago? Yeah. Must have been something I ate for lunch coming back to haunt me. <laughs> it's not something else, is it? I mean, you weren't drinking at the party either. I had a headache. What are you getting at? The pregnancy kit. Are you sure it's not yours? It's not mine. It's Raquel's. And... and she's using it for that mad art project? That's what she said. Sorry, I didn't mean to go all Poirot on you. Poirot? More like Cluso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's okay. Come to bed. Day three, Friday, 0715, location. The uh, events that I wasn't able to get earlier. Get them out the way. Then I'm going to call it a session. Oh, you're up early. Overtime? Let me try to no. get this last guy. Sorry, man. I know what that's but like. Might not be able to. Sorry, mate. How is she? Best as can be expected, really. But anyway, what's up with you? Just the usual, mostly. Ah, so too many hours, way too many drunks, kids with the sniffles, and grannies with <laughs> nothing wrong with them. Yeah. The NHS is in crisis, you're underpaid, understaffed, and the hospital is falling apart. In short, you just don't feel like you're making a difference. That's all true, but there's something extra this time. Okay. Some time ago, you know, I talked about working overseas. Was that the... Was that the doctors in war zones place? Kind of, but yeah, that's them. Well, ages ago now I applied and they just sent me a job offer. Oh. Well done, mate. But you don't look happy. I mean, I could do some real good out there. I could help a lot of people, but... Jen. Yeah. There's not many jobs for mathematicians out in Afghanistan. How long is it for? Minimum nine to twelve months. 
shit. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Day one, Wednesday, 11.04. Location, hidden room. That should do it. Bollocks! Bloody electrics. No one's home at the moment. <laughs> 